Just to wrap up what we just talked about so we have a full grasp, everything is initiated from a keyword. So it's either going to be a brand plus keyword or a keyword plus location. Everything starts with a keyword. Everything. Now, where is it? Is it search or is it maps? Okay, we're starting to dwindle it down. Now, to get the most movement, we need to have very precise actions done. These precise actions are listed by Google as being a visit to the website, a directional request, or they're pushing the call button. So if I'm paying or I'm implementing my own system, that's exactly what I'm going to be doing. When we take a look here, they're going to start mapping out. Look it. I'm getting directional requests from Nigeria. This is kind of strange, but hey, <laughs> over the course of time, this is what happens. Now, if we keep moving down here, we have phone calls. This is then being mapped out and then the photo views. So let's start walking through how we would actually go about mapping this out. All right. This is going to be considered a bonus section within my new training, but I figured, hey, you know what? This would benefit everybody, right? So I'm just going to share it with whomever is here today. All right. So here's how we would start manipulating this and how we can start dominating within Google Maps. No one's teaching this stuff, right? Not publicly. <laughs> so let's get into it. So this is what I would do. Here's what I'd be looking at right now. Obviously, I'm looking at my business and this business profile is on the up and up. This is attached to my name and brand and I don't do anything fishy with this account, right? So when we start taking a look here, uh, the very first thing is we, we want to follow the guidelines here, right? Direct discovery branded. We want to know here and here. We want to focus on maps. So what, what do we need to do if we were good, 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 good. It's going to be a keyword search and they're looking to find it or another one. Let's say we want to get this up, right? A branded search. If we have something that's associated, right? You know, um, and if you're, if you're, if you're looking at your insights and you want to know what to run first, you want to run direct first, you need to increase the numbers of people looking for your brand business or service. That's first. So this is first green is first. Then we want it to be discovery. Then this could be variations and different values showing up. You know, they're searching for different elements variations of keywords and then finding your business. I do feel that the cherry on top just from looking and, and, you know, co knowledging with other people, the last piece is when they're searching for the other businesses in the beginning of a session, but ending on yours and creating an engagement, whether it's a website click, whether it's a phone call. And then here's the last piece that I want to leave on. Let's talk about bots. Now, at no time do I recommend a beginner to go and get a bot. And I, I, you know, I'm not saying that this is a good bot, right? This is just one that I've been playing with that has been working. Okay. Now at no time should you be using a bot at all, but if you decide to use a bot, all right, it's, this is up to you. But if you use one at no time, should it be used to initiate any of these three things? Never, ever, ever, ever. If you want to use a bot, it should be to create other secondary factors like we talked about in the beginning, right? If you want them to look at your photos and get you up to ridiculous amounts of photo views, more so you'll, and you'll start getting these things. Google will send you a message. It'll also pop up inside of here and it'll say like, you're getting more you're getting more views than other people that are in your industry posting the same amount of times. It, it says something to that degree. And if you're increasing the amount of primary actions that are conducted by a user, then you need to make darn sure that you're also increasing these two because a normal customer evolution, which is what I call it should at the very beginning, it should start and originate with an organic search. They're doing research. And they're going to end up on your brand. They're usually going to end up maybe doing a, a visit of a website, then come back. They should also be looking at photos. You get what I'm saying? So if you're increasing this, I, I have found that 
you want to increase this to. <laughs> okay, so at no time, I hope I make that completely clear. I've been asked plumbers in New York and we're looking over here. So how are they finding us? Or maybe maybe you're in a town called uh, Hicksville, right? So plumber Hicksville. Maybe there isn't any, right? Oh, we do have some, you see? So it's a plumber in Hicksville, New York. That would trigger something. Um, what about, uh, what if I was looking for, what if I was looking for Bado, uh, Bado Plumber, Hicksville, New York, right? I'm looking at, uh, Bado Brothers. I searched for Bado Brothers in Hicksville, New York, but instead of, instead of clicking on Bado Brothers, I decide to go to your business, which just happens to be, I don't know, CVS. This is going to bring up that yellow bar that we that we were looking at before inside of Insights. You see this. All right. It, you know, you can trigger all different types. And by, by having them, okay, now that they're on the business, we need to then trigger one of these three things. I hope I made that painfully clear. That's the objective. We need to... We initiate everything with it. And look at here's the blueprint. We initiate with a keyword search. Usually our keywords are up here. Here's the three types that are going to come in from our keyword. What is Google looking at? Did they find us through the search or did they find us through maps? Well, which one are we trying to rank higher, right? How are they getting over to our listing? All right. We want to start doing a lot more within the maps in order to show success, right? Then, then it's going right.